we understand at last report that that all our airports um, are impacted and are shut down. At Absolutely, this point. JFK, Newark, and LaGuardia, as well as all the bridges and tunnels, are shut down because the New York City bridges and tunnels closed uh, until further review, or at least for a couple hours, according to Mayor Giuliani. This is the George Washington Bridge Toll Plaza, which has been shut down. We're told to regular traffic, although that appears to be regular traffic on the left side there and let me see here that would be outbound heading into new jersey so heading into the city is, closed. is what is closed yeah. at the moment so they're heading from new york into new jersey as you saw and this is the entrance to the lincoln tunnel which is closed heading into the city as well and if we were to look at all the sky cams around the region we would see probably a similar picture because they uh... they want to make absolutely certain that uh that uh, this doesn't play into what's going on right now. It's like for uh, personnel right now who are dealing with it. We haven't seen that much of this tape yet, so it hasn't been edited, it hasn't been uh, sanitized, if you will, but we're Obviously looking at the, it with you. This is the photographer coming up on, on the scene. Mm -hmm. uh, thick black smoke there in the distance and uh, emergency vehicles beyond uh, in the distance there as well. So you're watching this with us for the first time, and, and again, it's not been edited, so it's... Uh, it's what we call raw video. And potentially disturbing as well. You can see a gentleman there in, in complete disbelief, his hand over his head. Trash out on the sidewalk in a community of homes uh, waiting to be picked up. And there you see flames, thick black smoke, uh, as we get closer to the point of impact. Again, this would be somewhere in the 915, 930 range or so. Uh, the plane going down at 9.15, so that's when the flames were still burning. At the moment, however, that is all, as far as the eyewitnesses are telling us, that is all uh, knocked down. What there is remaining yeah, Jim, Jim is jet fuel and an awful, awful odor in the air uh, that people are now dealing with. Right, this we're talking about jet like. fuel that's, yeah. that's on fire in yeah. addition to, to the homes. Uh, we don't know how many homes have been impacted, but we have heard from witnesses who've talked about an entire block long stretch. Um, there's obviously heavy fire on this particular street and a lot of damage to homes. Oh. There you see a, a, a fellow wearing a, a gas mask. Uh, Somebody wouldn't have had before probably September not. 11th, right? Probably not. Looks like he was a house painter, perhaps. So this is Bell Harbor in the Rockaways. That's 115th Street, I think. Well, it's hard to tell. No, 130th. On Frio. Yeah, which is very close to the, the point of impact that we've been talking yeah, about. Yeah, this latest Ground Zero Beach, 129th and Newport Avenue is where uh, it is believed to have gone down. We're told that uh, there are parts of that plane that are visible, and we're told that we will see that shortly. Uh, in this unedited video, as, as you look at the disbelieving residents there and, and firefighters getting ready to attack this thing. Power lines down, homes on fire, and thick black smoke rising into this neighborhood at Beach 130th Street. That's the street sign there in the corner of your screen. And again, we heard from witnesses who said that uh, Obviously, so many of us have been affected by the events of September 11th, and there were people in this community who had lost friends, family, loved ones, and they were just sort of trying to get their lives back together. Intense flames. This is described as a patriotic community, where you see a lot of flags uh, on the fronts of homes even before September 11th, and now you see even more. And now they are dealing with their own version of a ground zero, if you will. Again, raw video, the cameraman shot upon arriving. There's a certain amount of chaos and confusion and people trying to get their bearings and they're trying to get uh, out of the way and, and in the right position here and not to get in anybody's way. Mm. But uh, we have uh, with us on the phone, Jim Cool, who's one of our colleagues here at NBC who also happens to live in this neighborhood. Jim, you there? Yeah, Maurice. It's actually Hello? Jim and Maurice, and Jim, what can you tell us about what's going on? We are looking at video right now. I don't know if you have it on, but video from earlier when there was heavy fire in your neighborhood. Where are you exactly? 
Well, at this time, I'm about three or four blocks away. I can't speak on what's going on right now, but initially um, I was home and my wife was at the kitchen window when the, the plane hovered right over the house. She looked up, and you're probably better off talking to her. I don't have it with me right now, but she merely started to yell and scream. I didn't know exactly what was going on. I came downstairs, and you know, I have uh, three young kids. They were crying. And she said that she saw the plane go by and that eventually it crashed. And she was approximating down like 100 and... 16th Street, maybe. So uh, I immediately got in my car and I went down to 134th and New, uh, Newport. Actually, I parked about five blocks before that. Ran down and, you know, as usual, it was chaotic, but there was a fire truck on the scene and the police personnel responding. There was at least three or four homes up in flames and a hey, lot Jim. of smoke. Hey, Jim. Jim, hang on a second. We're going to listen to another witness. The, piece, the engine fell down first and after that, the bundle, the, the truck go all the way in. Over here. I see my eyes and I scream everybody go out. Push back up, you get to be mobile. Back up. What is your name? My name is Isaac Nagar. What did you say? I see at the top of the roof and I see the plane. The engine fall down and the, the plane fall. The pitch then left side and make it straight all the way down. And I see I see the people hundred percent in. I fall for every maybe like less than an half mile. Three black, two black for them. Yo! John! Yo, I don't, I don't believe it! Why I see my... Boy, did you look at the, the, the anguish, the agony there of that gentleman. Jim, uh, you, you spoke with your wife. Was it, was it similar for her? Yes, it was, you know, because she just, you know, automatically didn't believe that a plane would come down in this community. As you had stated before, this community got hit in a big way after the World Trade Center bombing. It's probably in the peninsula from Breezy Point all the way to Rockaway. About 50 people uh, in the World Trade Center into constant to memorial services, a lot of firemen in NYPD live in this area. Initially, when I got there, there was a lot of off duty called cops, and especially firemen, just pulling hoses and trying to put the fire out of it. At the same time, trying to clear people out of the way so the emergency vehicles eventually would come up and show up. Where are you now, Jim? I'm about four blocks away. I'm actually going home to check on, on the kids and the wife. Uh, we can't blame you for I that. I couldn't really get through it. I got a lot of pages, but the phones and all the power lines are down here. Nothing's working. We've We're seen that. We see it as in tape that we're looking at right now, the power lines uh, being affected. Now, it's important to point out that this tape is from, you know, when this went down. We're talking a couple hours ago uh, that this tape came in, uh, if not a little earlier. And right now, Jim, you can describe for us and confirm for us that the scene has, I don't know if the calm down is the right word, but the smoke and flames have been knocked down. Is that correct? That's correct, and uh, the police have recorded off the area, set up as a crime scene. Uh, emergency response personnel, obviously, are all on the scene. Jim, uh, just to interrupt you there for a second, we're looking at our first recognizable piece of the aircraft itself right there in front of one of the houses. There you see it again. Have you had a chance to eyeball any of that yourself, Jim? No, I didn't, because I, as I said, my most focal point was 131 and, and Newport, and uh, the fire and the smoke was so heavy. It, I didn't have the equipment to move anywhere else. Yeah, there, there have been reports of plane debris all over the place, or at least in different parts of the region. Have you seen any that are recognizable, at least to you? No, the only thing uh, my wife had told me was it was definitely an American Airlines uh, a, a plane, because you can see it uh, on the tail. Okay. Well, we're glad you're okay, Jim. Thank you. Thanks for calling in. Bye. More uh, damaged homes, and in front of that home, a uh, piece of the airliner, it does appear. It is surreal, it is vexing, it, it, it makes you hurt to look at that, but uh, that, that's what firefighters have been dealing with uh, this morning in Bell Harbor in the Rockaways uh, this morning. Again, these flames, <clears throat> these pictures are coming in right now, but the flames were at their worst somewhere after 9.15 when the plane itself actually went down and crashed and burned. You can see the aftermath right there. It is approaching the noon hour here on this Monday. We're awaiting a briefing from Ari Fleischer at the White House. You're looking at unedited video, first pictures we have from the scene, from the impact of this American airliner, Flight 587, which went down at 9.15 this morning.